the Black Death arrived in London in late 1348. No one knows how many died, or even how long the epidemic lasted. Archaeologist Barney Sloan has written a highly acclaimed analysis of the catastrophe. But until now, the death toll has been pure speculation. There are huge gaps in our knowledge. Historians have guessed, some of them at maybe 10 or 15%. Medieval chroniclers were suggesting nine out of every 10 people died. That's how good our knowledge of London is. It's pretty rubbish, frankly. We do have a couple of eyewitness accounts. We get hints and suggestions, but we don't get full descriptions. Even the most haunting descriptions are vague when it comes to numbers. It killed a great many healthy people, removing them from human concerns in the course of a morning. Those marked for death were scarcely permitted to live longer than three or four days. On the same day, 20, 40 or 60 bodies, and on many occasions, many more, might be committed for burial together and in the same pit. Barney has found a way to work out the true figures with an ingenious piece of detective work. He's brought his evidence to the Charter House. These documents were written by the Black Death victims themselves. And they're so reliable, they could stand up in court. They're absolutely priceless as research on the Black Death in London. As the city's merchants prepared to die, they passed on their property in the form of a will. The wills themselves are absolutely beautiful. Uh, we can see the individual scribe's handwriting and they're very neat and they're very orderly. So in amongst this panic, they were still producing really good administrative documents for the city. The key legal phrase is enrolment. It's the date when the courts registered that the willmaker was dead. So the number of wills enrolled per month is a direct measure of London's death rate. You get a very stark view of how swiftly the plague descended on the city. In the early autumn of 1348, only a few wills were enrolled. But then, everything changed. The graph begins to rise in December of 1348. People could see death coming. By the end of May, the death rate had soared to 16 times the norm. Just 10 weeks later, it was all over. Barney has established a timeline. The rise and fall of nine months of terror. There is an even more shocking revelation to come. By extrapolating from the merchants to the entire city, he can calculate the final death toll. The best current estimates are that the residential population was about 60,000. About 60% of them die during the plague. In modern London, 60% would mean 5 million dead in nine months. Six out of 10 on every street. Six out of 10 in every family. <laughs> 